Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options. Well, my goodness, what a day we had yesterday and an interesting day forming up today. So how about we grab something to eat, settle into our nice comfy chairs, and let's prepare for the morning market prep video, the Wednesday edition. So we had a pop and drop yesterday. Diamonds gapped up, pulling back, but we ended up holding on by the end of the day. There just wasn't enough selling pressure in here. A few profit takers, but there wasn't enough selling pressure to really break us down. However, it left this bearish look up here and that, that concern that we may actually have a pullback. And even though we had several central banks last night warning of the potential impacts of the virus outbreak, the China issues and things like that, we in this market don't want to hear it. <laughs> we're going to cover our eyes, hold our nose, and we're going to continue to buy stocks no matter what price they are. And this morning, Dow is looking at a gap up open. So our trend is cranking along here we're pushing up through there we still haven't been able to break out and make that new record high here in the dow but this morning we're gapping up more than 120 points in this relentless push to move higher there just seems to be nothing that one uh, that I, I don't quite understand it i really don't um this relentless push that's going on but it doesn't matter i don't have to understand it what i have to do is follow along with the price action in the chart not get caught up in the emotion and make sure that i'm following my my trading plan my rules and staying disciplined and even though this doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me that we're continuing to just push and push and push no matter um anything else going on that's what the market wants to do, and that's what they are continuing to do with this gap up this morning. So bulls are still very much in control. We are fueled up on the really short-term um, results in these earnings. Um, you know, we analysts lowered um, earnings estimates for this quarter, and companies are hitting them pretty readily doing well so earnings continue to fuel um, this market higher the things that I get very concerned about is when I see very parabolic stocks and very parabolic things continuing to be bought as if there is no price that that matters we're just gonna buy no matter what price um, this goes to that typically ends badly eventually when that might occur, I don't know. Um, I wrote in the morning blog this morning, which by the way, there is a link right below the title in the description for that. Um, you can go take a look at it. It's I, I said, let's um, uh, cover our eyes, hold our nose and party like it's 1999. And that seems to be the case um, going on here today. We just don't want to hear any warnings, any bad news. We want to go up. So that's what we should do. We should follow the market up to the upside. Let's take a look at the SPY. SPY continuing to move higher. Um, eked out, just eked out a new record high um, close yesterday. Obviously, we gapped up to a record high, but didn't hold it. And we held on right there at the close. Got a little bit of buying coming in to push it back up and hold on to that record high close. So new records in the SPY full-on breakout and the SPY is looking to gap up once again this morning um, just racing to the upside so no concern here buyers continue to, to maintain control and I will say the SPY trend is much much whoops SPY trend is stronger than the diamonds trend for sure and continuing to show um, significant bullishness here as we just push and push and push for that upside being fueled on earnings reports so keep that in mind we're continuing to show that nice trend to the upside and we broke through this resistance that provides us a little bit of protection of price support if we do pull back if we take a look at the queues qqq um, once again queues have been unbelievably strong with stocks just 
um, relentless buying going on in stocks that are already uh, seemingly very, very extended and even to the point of parabolic. But um, AKAM reported last night a really good earnings um, report. And so that is helping to fuel the queues higher this morning. Trend continues to remain very, very strong. We have a big day of earnings today that can that will also be some key earnings here for the NASDAQ. And as you can see, we're looking to gap up this morning, um, pushing on higher, just relentlessly pushing higher in the market. IWM, IWM struggled leaving a little bit of a bearish candle here behind yesterday. Right here at price resistance in the chart but once again we're ignoring and we're going higher this morning with a gap up open pushing right back into that resistance level this morning here on IWM let's take a look at the VIX VIX continuing to hover around in here what's interesting is yesterday we actually had a little bit of an increase as you can see uh, we dropped initially on that morning gap but a little bit of increase in VIX fear but let's keep in mind that this is very much in check there just seems to be um, no particular no particular uh, feeling that um, these ec potential economic impacts from China are going to affect us. I personally don't believe that's true. I believe we're going to see some major impacts on this um, in the future here. Um, obviously, not it's not occurring just yet, but in the future, we're going to see um, some major um, impacts. I could be wrong on that, but um, we're not showing that in fear here on um, the VIX. Although we did get a little bit of a bump back up yesterday because of that selling, I'm going to guess that this morning with this morning's gap up, we're going to drop back down into this area. We're continuing to fall in fear. Um, we may come to rest somewhere on this downtrend. I don't know, but let's watch that carefully. Um, VIX. Um, just doesn't seem to be much in the way of fear um, in this market, um, which I don't quite understand, but it doesn't matter. As a matter of fact, what I would say is I think it's a little bit of complacency going on. Um, just money chasing after yield um, without regard. Um, and those can sometimes end pretty badly. So let's just be careful and make sure that we are not chasing stocks, that we're buying stocks at good places and um, um, we're taking those profits quickly in a market like this so that we're not going to get trapped by a reversal overnight. Let's take a look at T2122. T2122 is the four week new high, new low ratio. And as you can see, the four week new high, new low ratio, we're zooming back higher again. Had a little bit more of a broad base move. Um, um, moving moving that needle back higher this morning's gap up is once again going to probably put us right up in here at that bearish reversal area um, where we might be just a touch overbought so you can see we get back up in here and we get to that overbought condition and you can see what happens when we reach up there it's pretty systematic we reach up in there and we find sellers so um, just keep that in mind. The bulls are in control. Trends are still up, but we're starting to reach up there again into that um, rarefied air where it may be a little bit hard to breathe and the markets may pull back. So let's watch that close. Let's take a look at um, our economic calendar for today. Our economic calendar has a few things on it that we'll want to pay attention to um, and most of it's going to be just a whole bunch of fed speak um, we have jerome powell speaking again today notice we've got fed speakers this morning we have the petroleum status report at 10 30. of course that can certainly move the market around particularly oil sector stocks can move those around and then treasury budget here too but i wouldn't expect any kind of market reaction out of that treasury budget um, but uh, petroleum status and of course jerome powell can certainly move the market around today probably the thing that the market is going to be focused more on um, 
today than um, anything else is going to be the earnings reports. And we have a big dose of earnings reports today. We have um, AMAT. AMAT will be reporting. Um, applied materials, obviously that can move the market around. Cisco. Cisco um, will be reporting today one of those uh, big notable companies that could um, have some impact on the overall market. We have gold, Barrick Gold reporting earnings today. We have CVS reporting earnings today. Looks like they've already reported gapping higher. CVS moving on up. MGM, MGM casinos, and we're moving up. Even though the Macau, well, we've not reported here, it looks like. Even though Macau is closed and the impacts, they've already said the impacts from that are going to be substantial, we're buying up casinos. Um, pretty amazing market right now and the resili resiliency of the bulls and their ability to just say, hey, we don't care, we wanna go higher. Um, MRO, MRO gapping up this morning. Looks like they've got a nice little report here. Not Certainly not a stock I'd wanting, be wanting to buy right now, but moving up this morning. Trip. Trip reporting earnings this morning. Let's see, no report yet. Um, let's keep an eye on Trip. Certainly not um, a, a great buying stock down here trying to deal with a bottom. How about Tap? We got a little, little beer going on here. Beer gapping much, much higher this morning. Uh, moving up strongly here. So lots of lots of potential reports both this morning, this afternoon. Um, a, a big one will be Shop, uh, Shopify reporting this morning. There we go. Big old gap up this morning here on Shopify, helping to um, push these markets higher. So keep an eye on these stocks as they continue to report and we continue to roll them out this morning. So with that, everyone, hey, I wanna wish you all a fantastic day and I wanna wish you great profits in your trading. And if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could do me a favor and click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click those um, that bell icon when it pops up so that you can be notified every time I post one of these videos. Hey, I wanna say thank you to everyone and all the kind comments that continue to come in and the appreciation uh, that that you guys show for the effort uh, to put these videos out on a daily basis. Thank you very much. You guys are just awesome. And thank you for those who take the time to click that uh, thumbs up button and, and, and leave that comment because it makes all the difference in the world. Continuing to grow the channel, we continue to reach out, help more people. And I wanna say thank you to that. You're part of the team here, couldn't do it without you. And I truly, truly appreciate your efforts as well. So with that, how about we take a look at some stocks that could be setting up. Some of these stocks I mentioned yesterday, and um, I, I, there's a lot of good stocks out there that are very extended in their move. And what I look for is stocks that are not extended in their move, that are starting to make that move or could be setting up for that move here relatively soon. So I want to remind everyone that every time I show a stock in here, it's not a recommendation to buy or sell any security. It is merely part of the education and things that I do. If you find something in that chart, make sure you do your due diligence and evaluation of the chart. I don't know your account. I don't know your trading. So none of these can be a recommendation to you personally. Let's take a look at home. Home, H-O-M-E, we have an interesting little pattern here. Home is in a, uh, had been in a downtrend, obviously big old gap down here, um, running in a downtrend, but notice we've kind of caught a bottom here and starting to find support and we're moving up in this trend. Now this is a pattern that we call a round of bottom breakout pattern. And that's where the stock has been really oversold for a period of time. Now rallying back above its 50 day moving average and we look for that to hold find support on that 50 and those shorter term averages moving up providing some additional support to that stock. Well, in looking at that on, on this chart, my this is how I make all of my trade decisions is from this, what I call a naked chart. Um, I see a stock that's in a very tight consolidation, pushing against a, 
uh, resistance level in the chart. So I want to be watching this as this continues to slide over toward this trend. I want to be watching this carefully for that opportunity that this may pop out of here and provide me that entry signal. And with this big gap above here, we have plenty of upside room in this trade to make some money. And if you trade it with options, a great uh, potential in that trade. So watch home. Now there may not be, because it's such a small stock, there may not be great options. It may be a stock trade, but just watch that close. We've got some opportunity here in that trade. So once again, looking for those stocks that are holding support, holding, um, um, a trend that are not already extended. Those are the kind of stocks that I'm looking for. Another round of bottom breakout that we've been paying attention to, and as a matter of fact, made some money on over here, OSTK, OSTK continued to hold in this round of bottom breakout pattern. And notice here that that 50 day moving average has started to roll higher. One of my favorite things to see in a chart in a round of bottom breakout is seeing that 50 starting to roll itself higher. And we're starting to see a little bit of movement in that price. Now we struggled a little bit yesterday popping up and but with the pullback um, the market did pull back but you can see this morning um, this is gapping a little bit higher pushing on up. Now I want to watch this it's going to be really critical that this breaks out of this level of resistance. If it can break out of there, then there may likely be some smooth sailing to the upside. So keep an eye on OSTK. And also keep in mind, OSTK has that tendency when it decide, does decide to move, it really moves either up or down. So we'll wanna watch that pretty close. A lot of volatility in this guy. Take a look at Monster. Monster continuing to set up beautiful in this trend. We have a nice upside trend. And by the way, guys, I did a class last night. I'll be posting a video on this later. Maybe later today I'll get it posted about how to always find good quality trains. And this is just one of those examples of how following a trend, just following a simple trend, waiting for stocks to move over toward their trend, proving to hold support levels, we have winning trades. Winning trades that continue to find very easy entry points, very clean entry points, and that's what we're waiting for here. We're waiting for that to just slide on over to our, toward its trend and continue this upside move. So we can trade stocks like this over and over and over as long as they maintain those trends. If you want to pick up the class on this, just remember to watch the YouTube channel. It'll be posted either later today or uh, soon um, in the next couple of days. It'll be posted for that class, uh, public class that I did last night on finding quality trades. So watch, watch for that. But Monster is one of those that could really be setting up here for an opportunity. Another one would be Johnson & Johnson. Johnson & Johnson's been moving up and here we go. Here's that trend again, right? We're just following these trends trends we just find these opportunities boom winning trade boom winning trade boom winning trade winning trade winning trade and possibly an opportunity here for another winning trade right way options happened right over in here we made a 30 percent return using options just in that last move right off of that trend and we're watching for that right in here so keep an eye on that we can continue to trade these trends over and over and over and as you see j and j trying to show a little bit of bullishness this morning, trying to perk up here just a little bit. It could possibly pop sometime this morning, so we'll wanna watch that pretty close. How about Newmont Mining? Newmont Mining doing the same thing, just following those trends. Pop, pop, winning trade, winning trade. Nice little pop here, winning trade. Nice little pop could happen in here for that next possible winning trade. So as you can see, just following these simple trends, waiting for those trades to occur. And notice that I'm doing that without any indicators. I'm just drawing a few lines on a chart, focusing on the price action and just repeating these um, trades over and over again in these charts. Let's take a look at um, SPLK. SPLK was one of those that I've talked about here for a while. You can see it's continuing to do the same thing following that trend. Um, popped up a little bit early. You can see our trend was laying out here. Popped up a little bit early, but we 
bounced right off of that price support. So we moved up, pulled back to price support. Those are the places I wanna be looking for trades, not after they've already extended. This gives me a low risk entry to my stop loss. So popping up uh, and moving up, you can see we got a little bit of rest yesterday. Don't be surprised if this continues to rest over toward this trend. Okay, that happens if we get those early pop-ups that we continue to rest. Here's an example here where we moved up sharply, broke above this resistance in the chart right here, pulled back, we get that early pop up, and then we continue to drift on over toward the trend. So don't be surprised if that early pop-up requires this to drift on back toward that trend before it goes, but keep an eye on SPLK. Um, SPCE, SPCE is another nice breakthrough, hold a support and follow through to the upside. So just another example of these charts, we just watch and wait for these trades to occur and bang, um, off they go following their trend, looking very, very good. So SPCE looking very, very good overall. Lots of stocks out there moving, lots of stocks that could be potential trades. Be really careful. Again, we don't wanna be chasing stocks. Let's use a, um, Microsoft as an example. Microsoft finally pulling back yesterday. Big old dark cloud cover here on Microsoft, but notice here it's trying to push higher this morning. Um, this is what I mean by very extended. We want to be finding those trades off of these levels of support. Uh, you know, areas like this and areas like this where we pull back and hold support levels, that's where we want to be finding trades. We don't want to be chasing them well into that move and very stretched away from its trend. So keep that in mind as you're looking for trades. Everyone, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. Thank you for being here. Thanks for all of your particip participation with the Right Way Options channel and all of the kind words of support uh, for the content. You guys are awesome. Take care of yourselves. Have a great day. I wish you great profits, and we'll see you right back here bright and early Thursday morning. Have a good one.